Hello and welcome. Happy New Year. My name is James Parker. I'm a professional photographer and I live in Vancouver, Washington. I always like to take a minute and do a video with my favorite photos that I've created in the past year. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that I release throughout the year. And absolutely check out my website at jamesparkerphoto.com so you can sign up for my newsletter and find out about all the workshops that I have coming up. This first image was from Japan. This is in the Snow Monkey Park outside of Nagano. And I absolutely love the, the red color of the monkey's face and his golden eyes and that really intense gaze that he's giving me uh, right into the lens of the camera. I think it's a really, really intimate photograph of the monkey as he's drinking his water. And I absolutely love the, the reflection that I'm getting on the water as well. This next image is extremely unique. As a matter of fact, I would say most people would never be able to capture it. And that's simply because this is a waterfall that is only running when it is overflowing. The other waterfalls that are near it are actually overflowing. We had a lot, a lot of rain in Oregon this past uh, fall. And during that super rainy time for weeks and weeks and weeks, I ventured out knowing that some of these waterfalls would be overflowing and going, creating new waterfalls over these cliffs in the Columbia River Gorge. This is one of the waterfalls that I managed to capture. In November, I traveled to Paris, France, spent a couple weeks there, and this is by far my favorite image that I managed to capture while I was there. This is Saint Chapelle, and it is absolutely stunning with all of the stained glass that's everywhere. It's all the way up, all vertical. The entire chapel is small, gorgeous, made stained glass with these chandeliers that are hanging that look like they're just suspended like something out of harry potter like by magic it's absolutely breathtaking to see it in person even with uh, the crowds of tourists that are there but uh, with a handheld exposure a higher iso and a little bit of luck i managed to come away with this one this image is a little bit different than what I usually shoot. This is a carousel and it is in Marseille, France. It was a sunny day and I knew when I saw the carousel what I wanted to do. I wanted to create camera in the round is one of the techniques that it's called. And it's basically where you take a series of photographs as you walk around a subject and you keep the center of your frame on the image over and over again. And then you combine those images into Photoshop to create what you see here. I absolutely love the way this come out. I love the colors. I love the light and the airiness of it and just that dreaminess that this technique creates. This next image is from Glacier National Park and I captured this at sunset. We had a lot of blue skies days on this workshop. It was over and over blue sky, blue sky, blue sky. And finally, finally, we had a, a sunset that was shaping up to be spectacular. And indeed it was, it came out fantastic. Just an amazing color in the sky. I love the way that it's reflected in the water and the, just the way that those streams of clouds are coming over the top of that mountain. And it, it just came out fantastic. I, I must have taken a hundred photographs that sunset it was just it was super exciting it came out fantastic one of my favorites of the year this next image is one of my favorites by far for the year i'd put it number two or number three easily so this was taken on my workshop to uh, leavenworth and this is my fall colors workshop this one tree is, was burnt during one of the wildfires uh, a few years ago, but you can see the vegetation has started to come back at the base. We had a really, really foggy morning and that mist and fog was providing the perfect separation between the tree and the hillside in the background. It absolutely would not have worked at all had I not had that wonderful mist and fog that was separating and giving me that nice color and that gradations. If you look very closely at the very, very top of the photo, you can just make out the top of the mountains as the sun is starting to burn off that the, the fog. And I absolutely love the layers that I get out of this vertical panorama. Sometimes you go out to photograph a specific subject and then come away with something totally unexpected. And this was one of those mornings. This is an Olympic National Park. And that morning 
we were up at Hurricane Ridge. Uh, this was on a workshop, and this was in this, the, uh, the summer. We were waiting for sunrise over the sound, and we were looking out, or over the Olympics, we were looking at the mountains, and then all of a sudden I noticed that where we were, this grove of trees, as the sun was coming up, was getting backlit in a beautiful, beautiful way. It was just rim lighting those pine needles, the, well not the pine needles, but the needles of the tree. And then I had a little sunburst. I knew that if I could move quickly, I could take and get really magnify that that rim lighting that was happening on the grass and the flowers and the trees and then get a nice starburst effect as that sun started to peak up over that hill and this is what i came away with absolutely love this this is another one of those images where i was not planning on photographing this specific scene this is in the palouse region of washington and it's at sunset i was up there on Steptoe Butte and I was looking out and I was watching the sun just rake across and create those really really dramatic shadows and over those green fields those rolling hills but when I looked toward where the sun was setting and I saw this golden light just raking across the entire scene I forgot all about the green and I went right to this and I absolutely love the diagonals and the, the leading lines that take you right back into the to the back the brightest part where the sun that golden orange sun was setting absolutely love the light I love that low contrast and that lone tree in the foreground absolutely spectacular one of my favorite places to photograph hands down is anything on the coast the Oregon coast or the Washington coast there's just no shortage of breathtaking scenes, sea stacks, crashing waves, gorgeous beaches. It's, there's absolutely never a, a lost opportunity to come away with something amazing every time you go. This was a very moody, very, very cloudy, stormy sunset, as you can tell from the frame, from the image. And a little bit longer of a shutter speed really kind of move those waves gave you some motion in those waves i absolutely love that breaking wave in the back and that motion in the foreground with the that dark and stormy sky with just a little bit of orange that's peeking through from that sunset again i love the colors in this image and i think it just came out really really nice there's no way that i could do a list of favorites and not include a few waterfalls because this is one of my favorite things to photograph and i live in waterfall nirvana out here in the pacific northwest it's absolutely wonderful the opportunities are endless and this one is no exception this is an olympic national park and uh, i absolutely love that the framing element of that tree on the left hand side of the frame and that side light that it's catching a little bit that little bit of rim lighting that's happening as that sun's coming into the valley this was after sunrise and uh the the bowl that the the waterfall was coming into and with that tree going up framing it on the left hand side absolutely i think just makes the photograph complete back to japan these Tori gates are world famous. This is a wonderful shrine. It is absolutely stunning. This day that I went, it was raining and it was raining a lot. I'm surprised I was able to come away with as clean a shot as I did. But because it was raining and it was near sunset, the lights were on in these throughout this tunnel of Tory gates that were one after another, one after another. And I absolutely love the color that golden warmth from those lanterns that are hanging and how that you've got that little bit of light at the very very end of of the Tory gates where it goes around the corner love that leading line i love the colors and i absolutely love those lanterns that are lighting the way so you saw the monkey earlier in the video i am definitely not a wildlife photographer but i'll definitely do my best giving the opportunity and last year i ventured out to the puget sound to photograph eagles this is my favorite one that i came away with i absolutely think this came out fantastic these eagles were fighting over fish and uh, this one is is eyeing they're eyeing one another as they're going in to grab some more breakfast uh, i love having those mountains those soft out of focus mountains the olympic mountain range out in the background and then those two eagles as they're soaring sideways as they're coming in for their catch absolutely just nice separation <laughs> couldn't have planned it better if i'd have asked them to fly that way 
one more for the year. This one is also from Japan and Mount Fuji is the main star of this image and the cherry blossoms in the foreground and that wonderful shrine on the right hand side. I absolutely love the elements that all go together so, so well in this image. The cherry blossoms were at their peak. It's at sunset. The colors are nice and warm. You can see the warm light on, on Mount Fuji and that golden light raking across the top of those cherry blossoms. Absolutely fantastic. Good lighting, being able to see Mount Fuji in the background. It was it was a wonderful, wonderful morning. Had a great, great trip, and this is one of my favorite memories from it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look back at 2023 and my favorite images that I created. Don't forget to head over to my website, jamesparkerphoto.com. Check out my upcoming workshops. This year, I've got a lot of one-day and two-day workshops happening all over the Pacific Northwest, and then I've got three international trips. I've got one to... Japan in April that's got a spot left and then I've got Iceland in August and then in September I'm going to Italy for two weeks and that is going to be the most epic time you've ever had. If you've never been to Italy you'll definitely want to go on this workshop and even if you have been you're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to come away with some great images. Check all that out on my website under the workshop section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any comments, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer each and every one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.